Hey guys, George here from Zero Pre Productions, and today I am checking out The Long Dark. This is a game that was in early access for the past few years on Steam, and finally, just saw its full release. One of the things included in the full release is the first couple chapters of their brand new story mode, which I'm very excited for, and I wanted to take this opportunity to show it off and do it on videos. I've done The Long Dark before, I played it back when it was in early access for videos, and I've done it on streams as well. I thought this might be a great opportunity because I've always really enjoyed the game. And, you know, I figured I'd want my first uh, time playing through the story to be recorded just for the hell of it. So, Wintermute, the authored episodic story mode for The Long Dark. New, yes, I, I want to start a new one. Episode, do not go gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after the plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. It's a miracle that I survived the plane crash. Must have been some really good uh, seatbelts or something. Mackenzie. That's me. I have a girl's name. Mm-hmm. Don't mind me. I just fell out of a plane, but I need to drink my coffee. Hintelin presents. No, fuck you. I'm gonna let it break me. I fell out of a plane. I'll do whatever I want. Astrid. Astrid! I'm calling it now. I'm guessing that Astrid doesn't exist. Or that she's dead, and I'm just hearing her voice because I fell out of a plane and I hurt my head. Probably got a concussion or something. <sighs> We're two seconds into the game, and I'm already pulling stuff out of me. Oh, I've got a wedding ring! So yeah. Astrid's probably my dead wife, if I had to guess. I immediately jumped to, to dead wife. From this wind. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. Chapter 1, Survival of the Fittest. Alright, so what do we have around here? I'm gonna need... Well, I'm gonna need a lot of things. We got... Right now will cost nine minutes. I'm kind of bleeding out, so let's not uh, waste our time breaking down stuff. Here we go. First aid kit. I'm gonna need this bandage, antibiotics, and a bandage. All right. I I know how to use all this stuff because I've played the early access before, and the radial menu and everything is stuff in the game. So let's get a first aid. I'm gonna take antibiotics to make sure that the infection doesn't spread. Treatment did not do anything. Well. Screw you too, game. And apply bandage. Also didn't have an infection necessarily, but it's just to make sure that I didn't have one that spread. Now that I've dealt with the bleeding, I can go back and get that cardboard because I'm probably going to need that. I kind of want to take that. I want to use that as a torch. Wouldn't that be convenient? I also like that, um, I can use the metal shard that was in my hand as a makeshift knife. Because knowing me, I would just throw it out. I would say, oh, this thing was inside me, and just chuck it. Alright, so... Camp craft. Fire. Let's just put that baby down. 75% chance. Let's use the tinder plug and the firewood. I only have 75% chance because I don't start off with accelerant or anything, so hopefully this will work. Wouldn't that suck if Come on. if it failed and I just died immediately at the start of the game? I'm like three minutes into the game, probably not even that, and I just die immediately just from the random chance because there's still a 25% chance to fail it. I survive a plane crash, and then I just fail to start a fire, and I just die immediately. It's lovely. It okay, worked. I got, I got it. It's good. We did it. That's all I have in me. I can't move. Need to lay down before I fall. Down. Yeah, don't fall on the fire, please. I just—that's how I die. All right, so gotta make some water, which means. 
Better see what I can use. Which means I have to make another fire. I have to start the fire up again. I'm so glad that... You know, I made the fire last night and just passed out immediately. Like, maybe I should have made the water last night so I'd wake up and be like, Oh man, I'm thirsty, because, you know, sometimes people are thirsty when they wake up, especially after plane crashes. <laughs> so looks like debris from the crash site above. Yeah. Alright, so let's take all this, search the metal container. What do we have? Military grade MRE, good, because I'm hungry. Great, let's break that down. I can't use... Well, I guess you wouldn't use a knife to break down... That, water purification tablets... Newsprint, books, books are good for fire. No, I know you're cold, I know you're tired, you're thirsty, you're hungry, you're poor. Go to Ellis Island. They take care of all those things there. Accelerant, good for the fire. Cloth, I can't use cloth yet because you use that to repair, but I don't have a sewing kit yet. Okay, I'm working on it. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. We'll get back, we'll make you the MRE and everything. And by make, I mean you're just gonna eat it. It's a ready meal. You just eat it immediately. You don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to cook it or anything, which is the benefit here. Alright, so let's just take this. Break that down. Well, let me search the area to make sure I didn't miss anything else, because I'm gonna need as many supplies as I can get. So if there's any more cardboard boxes or any more crates or anything like that... Now is absolutely the time for me to take those materials. My fingers feel numb. Well, just calm down, all right? I'm working on it. I can't sprint. You're too hurt to sprint. Or you're too hungry and too thirsty, which is more likely, I guess. All right, so... Let's see, 95%. I don't want to waste my book. So let's do... Let's do that, yeah. 75% chance, but it's better than wasting the only book, because I'm probably going to need the book... For a fire a little bit later. That and never Come mind. On. Come on. I know, no, I know, I know. Alright, fine. You're making me want to use the book. Oh, I didn't use my cedar firewood, did it? Okay, so I didn't use it up. That's good. I still have another chance to use it. I wonder how many chances it gives you to reuse the same items before it's like, no, it doesn't work anymore because... I mean, you're still trying to use it to make a fire. It would make sense that you lose the material if the fire fails... I guess, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we got the fire. This is good. Um, I'll add... I'll add a stick or two to it. So let's make 0.6 gallons of water. And I have the purification tablets, but I'm just gonna boil it, because that's gonna be easier. Okay, oh, I'm running low on time on the fire, so let's add some more fuel to that. That should be good. Now boil the water, I'm gonna save my purification tablets for later. So now, I can drink. Very good. I can eat. And then I should be all good to go. I should be perfect now, right? There we go, Shit. good. That cut smart. Damn it. Better make sure it doesn't get infected. Damn it, I was just... <laughs> of course. It's my own fault for saying, hey, I'm perfectly fine. So, infection risk, I need antiseptic or moss. So, I use antiseptic. It's a good thing I checked, because my first thought would be to use antibiotics, honestly. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. Yeah, I, I wonder why you don't feel good. You crashed a plane! Day three. Here we go. Maybe I can move on and everything will be hunky-dory. The weather's turning bad. Oh. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. So much for moving on, everybody. Alright, let's see what we have. We have to get all the materials. Sticks. Oh, we got another crate over here. Let's break that down real fast. So I'll get wood from that. Colder. If I don't have enough firewood to last the night, then I might not make it. Alright, I hear you. I understand. I'm just trying to find all the materials that I can. I want to go in prepared. I want to go in ready for this. I've never felt so cold in my life. Oh, just calm down already, you big baby. Firewood. Stick. More firewood. 
Another stick, another crate. Please have something in it. I want something, anything, nothing, okay? Firewood, stick. Um, I don't want to take the time to break down branches. I don't think I need it, honestly. I think the crates will be enough. Oh! Look at all the books! Oh, I love it. I need the books. Alright. Uh, now which way did the cave? I already lost it. There it is. Still can't sprint. Never mind. I'm freezing, so... And I'm also still suffering from crashing a plane, so yeah. That makes sense, actually. 95% chance. Uh... Yeah, that's good. Alright, good. So... Well, let me check my journal. Uh, nine hours... Gotcha. So, let's add firewood. Let's add the reclaimed wood. And let's add a couple sticks. Fire looks good. Now, to warm up before I freeze to death. Okay, so I should be good. If I just exit out, that'll take me to morning, right? I don't have to stay up the nine hours. Journal. Updated. Get your body temperature up, warm yourself by the fire for a while. Okay, I can do that. That should last me through the night. So tired. Oh, well, just don't pass out in the fire, please. That would be terrible. You would wake up screaming and burning to death. Thought that storm would never end. I need to find some food. Ooh, the fire's still going. Okay, that's good. Because... Well, how much water do I have? I have 0.42 gallons potable. I am going to add a little bit more to this fire. Just a little, though. Just a little. Just enough to get me 0.4 gallons of water. I should have enough time to boil it, I think. I'm just used to the survival mode in Sandbox, where you really just kind of have to stock up on everything, and you don't want to waste anything. So if you can boil water versus purifying it with tablets, you save the tablets for later. 9.82 gallons. I'm gonna take a torch. Just because why not. Crows! Your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. I don't want to eat people! I know I'm hungry, but calm down, game. Okay, so I see so the crows hungry. up there. I know! I know! Calm down. That was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. I'm guessing that means they want me to climb the tree. Uh, you need food to survive. Scavenge what you can eat until you're full. Explore the ravine. See if you're strong enough to climb out of the ravine. Oh, I see a, I see a deer over there. That was easy enough. I was waiting for the tree to break. Astrid's back. Oh! There you go. Oh, no, I didn't want to drop that. I'm not even looking at it. There we go. I hope I know the combination. <laughs> Locked. I'll take that as a no. Ooh, cutscene time. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I have a girl's name. Damn kids and their prank calls. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Maureen. What oh, are you okay, about? never mind. There's someone there. Although there was no one on the line. It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... The divorce. I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> 
No, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? You can feel the tension between yes, them right I'm now. I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... Th I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, but they're all dead, questions. so I'll take you. Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? I should have said no. What's in the case? I should have said no. See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? Oh my God. What's in the case, or not? No questions. You wanna hire me or not, lady? Come Look, on. The weather out there is bad. It's frightful. Bad, but it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? She didn't even ask. She just told you to. Yes. Well, gosh Astrid. darn, I better do it. I'm Canadian. You can't bring him back. This isn't about that. No. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. They were married, you don't they think had I a feel son. It too. Are you he gonna died. take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. I'm calling it now. They Damn have it. a dead son. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Yeah, tell me about it. So either she's dead and just didn't wait up for me. Or no, either she's dead or she didn't wait up for me. That's what I meant to say. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. Yeah, now I dropped my torch. She hasn't already died for it. Okay, it still works. Take the firewood. Uh, ooh! Oh, I get a coat. Clothing is armor against the cold. Alright, I know. So let's... Put on the coat if I'm not already wearing it. Throw that. Beautiful. That's a ravaged deer this carcass. carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Ugh. All right. So let's take. It's gonna take thirty minutes for two pounds of meat. That's not too bad. Let's do that. All right, venison raw. Not too bad. Do I have to go back to my cave to cook yet again? Everything you eat. You, uh, can kill you. Wait. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, when starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over a fire to avoid food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Oh. Raw meat's gonna attract wolves and shit, isn't I it? I could probably climb that. Cl Alright. I guess we're not going back to my cave. <sighs> oh, no, no! God damn it! I bet I could climb that. Way to trick me, game. Mother Nature's painkiller. Sometimes Mother Nature is your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain-relieving properties. Keep your eyes open for other natural remedies. Well, now I know what to do with the rose hips. Thanks. Alright, I guess we're, uh, gonna make a fire here now. Because I have to, because I sprained my ankle. Thanks, game. It tricked me. It was like, hey, you can climb that. I'm like, all right, let's climb it. Break my fucking ankle immediately. All right, so. Do I want... I'm going to use the accelerant. You know what? Why the hell not? I'm trying to save down on time here. 
Thank goodness for that. Yep, yep. Let's just add all of that. Let's add the reclaimed wood. Let's cook the meat. And then we're gonna make the goddamn tea as well. Those cooking sounds... They're delicious. Um, and now how do I make the... Rose hips? First aid. Okay, it's not under first aid. Sprained ankle. Oh, I can take the... Oh, I don't have painkillers. Never mind. Or if I just wait four hours. Okay, so if I make the tea... Fruit of a wild rosebush can be used to make a tea that helps manage pain. That's great. Now, how do I do it? It's not under food or water. Or do I need more? Do I need more than one? Oh no, that gave me eight. Yeah, I think I have enough. It's just a matter of how do I craft stuff now, or how do I craft this? Because when I played the early access, I never used rose hips. I don't think. I also never sprained my ankle. You know what? Let's see if I can climb it now with a sprained ankle. Probably a terrible idea, but nope. And okay, still can't do it. All right, I gotta fix my ankle. It would seem. I absolutely have to. Please, game, tell me how to do this. Because it's not under first aid, either. First aid would make sense to me. Oh, it wants me- it want, they want me to eat first, that's why. That would make sense. That's my own fault for not doing that first. That'll unlock the option to... Do the rose hips, I'm guessing. Oh, I, I okay, I need more food. Gotcha. That's that looks gross. Uh wait, let me see how long the fire is gonna last before I start cutting into this, because I need the fire. 59 minutes, let's add sticks, hour and a half just about, okay. So let's just take all of that. Cold is not how my head feel thick. Alright. Now I have just enough time. Okay, I know, I know you hurt your ankles. Stop. Stop complaining. No one cares. Alright, that should be enough time to do everything that I need to with all this meat. I'm starving again. I just gotta cook all of this. How am I cooking it? Am I just throwing it on the fire? Because I don't have any sort of apparatus for this. Alright, that's all my meat. Hour and a half left on that still, that's good. No, I know you're hungry. Calm down, you're fine. Let's eat. If I eat one more, I should be full. Hopefully. Almost. I think they want me to- I'm just gonna eat all of it. They said I need to be full. Okay, I still have a little bit left. I'll have the drink, don't worry. I got water, it's good. Okay. May as well rest up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. Wait, again? God damn it. I want them to tell me when I'm going to go to sleep. It's just they surprise they spring it on you. It's like you're going to bed now. <laughs> 